Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, how to run specific kind of test cases or tests using TestNG. Let me answer. In TestNG, we can group the tests, okay, into different categories. For example, we can group the some, some tests into smoke testing category. We can group some tests into, you know, sanity category. We can group some tests into regression or anything, okay? And if you want to run a specific kind of test, which is related to that particular category or group, okay, we have to use this uh, something known as group stack. And under the group stack, we have to use run tag. Under the run tag, we have to use include. And all this can be mentioned in the test in XML file. Let me practically demonstrate how to run specific kind of tests using TestNG with the help of these groups, okay, in TestNG XML file. For that, I'll switch to this Eclipse IDE where we have this sample project. And here I'll create some test methods. Public void, sample one, I'll say, okay. And here I'll write a print statement to see. So I'll say sample one got executed. And here I'll add the test method. I'll convert this into the testNG test method. So I'll write this annotation from testNG. Import it. Now copy this and paste it. And again, paste it. Okay. Here change it to sample two. Here say sample two got executed. And here also sample three, I'll say. Sample three got executed and sample three. Like this, we have three test methods. I would like to group them. Okay how to group them into different categories. For that here, I'll say groups is equal to, okay? Groups is equal to, you can even put curly braces if you, have, if you want to mention multiple groups for this single test. Let's say this one is a smoke, comma, let's say sanity also, okay? And what about this one? Let's say this one is a groups is equal to curly brace. I'll say this one is only sanity not smoke and uh, this one is only smoke let's say groups is equal to curly brace or without curly brace also you can do if you have only one but here it's better to provide okay tomorrow if there is a need to add more groups and uh, group names we can do that without any problem okay so like this i have created okay smoke sanity sanity and only only so only sanity and only smoke okay so now if I want to run the test from this particular category, okay, as a question speaks, specific kind of test case. Like, let's say I would like to run only smoke tests. The first one is falling into the smoke and the last one is also falling into smoke, okay? So if I want to run the test related to smoke, okay, then what I will do is I'll go to the test in GXML file. I can create it again if I want. So right click on this project and uh, go to test in G and say convert to test in G. A test in XML file will be created under this project and this uh, thing, click on finish and uh, we, it got created here, open that and here under the test tag, write down groups, under that, say run, under that, say include, include the group, which group, from which group you want to run the test, include uh, name, is it, name of the group is equal to, it's a smoke group, okay, only the test from the smoke group will run. So if you see the demo.java, the first one is into the smoke category and the last one is also into the smoke category, okay? So sample one and sample three should run, but sample two should not run, okay? I'll run the test in the XML file and see only sample one and sample three should run, sample two should not run. You see sample one got executed, sample three got executed, but sample two didn't get executed. So that's how we can run specific kind of tests or test cases using TestNG with the help of groups, okay? So one more uh, attribute was there, okay? Here you can see the attribute in the demo.java, that is a groups attribute. And here we have the groups tag under that run tag under that include tag, okay? So here groups attribute also, okay? We have to use attribute. So hope guys you got the answer for this question with practical demonstration. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.